outside of the Scooby Doo episode, do you guys have any other episodes planned? They're kind of different or high concept. That you, don't think that one's, you don't think that one's different enough? <laughs> That's different, but outside of that, I usually do more than one a season. I feel like. uh, no, this is our big swing for the season, is, is the animation. Um, we're pretty excited about the year. You know, we've broken, uh, we got the first six scripts, um, seven we just got a story on. Um, you know, so far so good. We don't have, I mean, deliberately, we're not doing like, you know, I mean, last year was very big with the British Man of Letters and the whole sort of organizational thing and all that. And this year we made a conscious effort that we wanted to go a little smaller and more personal. Um, so, with, you know, with Mom and Apocalypse World with Lucifer and the boys having to deal with uh, Satan's son, there will be just a lot of emotional possibilities, uh, and that's kind of what we wanted to play with this year. Last year was about bringing family back together. This is what do you do when your family gets blown apart. And, uh, so speaking of family, Mary is obviously in the alt universe, and we heard a little bit about her. Um, what can you tell us about sort of what her day-to-day -day life is going to be like there? And like, are she and Lucifer, is she going to try to run away from him first thing, or what will that be like? Uh, she does try to run away from her first thing. Okay. That doesn't turn out as well as she might have hoped. <laughs> um, you know, we, we visit there. We don't, we don't live in that universe for a whole long time. I mean, it's, it's, it's always there in episodes, but the majority of the time is, is, is spent in, in this world. Um, whenever we do visit there and we meet some characters there, or some that we know and new ones, um, it's just really not a pleasant place. Um, and I think a little bit of that's going to go a long way. Um, so, you know, a lot of the emotional stuff about what the season is, that Dean is convinced that you know, once Mom went through that rift and with, with Lucifer, that was curtains for her, Sam is of the opinion, we got this kid, he opened the rift once, let's go see for ourselves. If she's alive, let's try to save her. That causes a certain... Um, Headbutting amongst the two guys, and that's part of um, you know this idea of the family being torn apart is that they have these sort of different takes on this. Dean gets a little dark about that. Can you talk about um, Jack in the Hunter world? Is he is that something that he play a role in, or possibly just a hunter? Um, in the beginning, without getting too specific, he 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 doesn't have much control over his um, his powers. <clears throat> I guess he's a little bit like the Hulk in that regard. Is that you know he just he, he can do things, but he does them involuntarily. Part of him, because he's you know half human, doesn't want to hurt people. You know, uh, he knows what you know. He has this thumb drive that his mother left him, talking about that he can be what he wants to be. That, you know, and he has this angel looking over him, so he's aware of all this. But he can't control himself totally. Um, so it's really about how do you, you know, how do you get that balance? Um, he's interested in the hunter world, uh, but he has a couple of missteps early on. Um, and again, the, what the what Dean feels about him in the beginning of the year, as opposed to what Sam wants to do with him, they're really really worlds apart. And so there's a lot of conflict uh, between the guys there. Uh, and this kid is kind of caught in the middle. Um, but, you know, good drama is conflict, so that's what we try to do every year. <laughs> so you, having been on the show, you know, as long as the guys, obviously, what um, do you think has changed the most for Sam and Dean, specifically in what you mentioned about that their family, everyone they love has been killed? In the past, they used to just stick together and sort of accept that that was their life, but now it sounds like they're not accepting that, like, you know, that they actually have a safety net that they want to have, as opposed to only wanting each other. Well, I think it's, you know, it's like Obamacare. People were against it, but once they got it, they were saying, well, maybe, yeah, now you want to take that away? You know. <laughs> so I never thought of this 
which you question in political terms, but I think that's no. Close. I see the I right. see the metaphor. Um, so yeah, so they had this thing, mom, you know, Past a relationship friends. with their mother, which yeah. they never had, and then that gets taken away. It, it, it's really kind of a you know a devastating blow. Mm-hmm. How one reacts to that um, is, is what makes people different. You know, I think you've seen where. Uh, a family member will die, and some people show their emotion, or you know, they're trying to get their stuff out. Where other people become withdrawn, and you know, and don't deal with it. Uh, you know, they don't deal with their own emotions. Um, uh, I think that latter one is a little more where Dean is at, and, and, and he kind of gets darker as, as the first few episodes go on. He, he begins to doubt, you know, what the hell, what, what is this all about? You know, what am I doing? I think we all wanted to know what Cass, are we, oh, we no, going to yeah, talk about? I think we all wanted to know as well, like, how that will tie to, you know, Cass as a family member, like, their loss of, of him Absolutely, as well. that's... That's part of it. I mean, the whole, the even to even to a certain extent, Crowley's gone. Yeah. Even though that he was, a, you know, a friend of me. Yeah. But you know, he basically gave himself up for, that's for them. That's complicated for them, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so all that sort of happening, you know. And by the way, within the last five minutes of that episode, yeah. <laughs> um, it's pretty devastating, you know, and, and it, it leaves them in a really strange place. And if they just had to deal with it alone. So be it, but now they all got this kid, this man child they have to deal with. Uh, so it's a lot of complication. I mean, we did that intentionally, and but again, it's much more about, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's a season based on emotion, not on, not on big, big stuff. Can you tease uh, Missouri's return? Does it have to do with the, um, the Wayward Sisters episode? Missouri is the grandmother of Patience, who will be the third girl in that. And this young woman reluctantly uh, has actually passed down through generations her, her psychic skills. Her father wants her to deny those and not not get into this world. Circumstances dictate that she she has to, and that's how she ends up at, at Jody's. Are we seeing Missouri early in the season or We're later? We're seeing her in episode three. That is awesome. So the bunker doesn't feel very safe now. I mean, literally everyone can get into this bunker. They're Wait. not like going to put Jack in the bunker and then just go away. <laughs> Well, no, because they can ward it. And, okay. you know, um, yeah, I mean, you hit on an interesting point. We, you, we have these internal discussions sometimes, you know. And sometimes the writers will come in and say, you know, so-and-so shows up with the bunker. And I say, what is this, Grand Central Station now? Yeah. <laughs> so you're aware of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. anybody can come in. So we're, 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 very, we're cognizant of your point and trying to, trying to deal with that. Um, but, you know, it was... We always tried to make her, you know, like when uh, Mr. Ketch showed up, right? They said, well, all the mental letters have a key to every mental letters yeah. uh, facility. Um, but we're, we're going back with some warding, and they do leave him alone at a, a certain point. And, you know, and he treasures the place. No. <laughs> I have to take him. 